We're back at 8-11. It may be hard to imagine the biggest names in Hollywood struggling to land roles, but now some never-before-seen audition tapes are hitting the auction block, revealing a very different side to some of your favorite stars. Darren Julian and Martin Nolan are from Julian's Auction House. Guys, good to have you back. Welcome. You, 54 of these audition tapes going up for auction from one casting director who's now retired. He wants to rena- remain anonymous. Why? Well, it's actually three casting directors, but they've cast some of the biggest films in Hollywood. And the reason they want to remain anonymous is because, you know, they're used to making stars. They've not been stars themselves. So, it, you know, it's, it's just a privacy. It's very private people. People. Yeah. Selling these tapes now for a special reason, just to generate some cash? Uh, we talked them into it, actually. Okay, all right, good. <laughs> Retired, so it's for the retirement fund. Yeah. All right, good. Let's get to the first movie, The Outsiders, coming-of-age movie back in 1983, starring yes. Matt Dillon, Ralph Macchio, Rob Lowe, and Tom Cruise. But a lot of people don't realize it was also a short-lived television season that aired on Fox for a season in 1990, and one of today's biggest stars on the planet auditioned for the role of Pony Boy. Take a look. What are the socials got against us, anyhow? Just because we don't have money and they do? Who can figure it? You cool, Pony Boy? A little. Listen, kiddo. When Jerry hollers at you, he don't mean nothing. You know, he's just got a lot more responsibilities now since Mom and Dad have died. He loves you a lot. Know that. Whereas Jay Ferguson, who actually got the role and nailed it. And by the way, the the TV series was produced by Francis Ford Coppola, and DiCaprio did get a part in the pilot, but it was a small part. That's exactly right. It was short-lived, only 14 episodes. Uh, All right, let's move on to Backdraft, a hit from uh, the 1990s. No, it was 2000s, I think. 1991. 1991, about Chicago firefighters starring Billy Baldwin and Robert De Niro. But believe it or not, a lot of A-listers were hoping to get parts. Take a look. You know, it's just these new stations are part of how Commissioner Swayzak's wrecking this department. I mean, I mean, for every one of these Disneylands that he's built, he closes three old fire places, firehouses. He's cutting manpower. Or just to call me names. You're up here. To be reminded that it doesn't matter what a candidate's score downstairs is. Nobody... Nobody passes through this place without my personal signature. I want you to quit, Brian. No, sir. It's not going to happen. Sorry. All right, let's talk about some of these uh, guys Mr. here. Uh, yeah, well, it's Keanu Reeves. Um, auditioning, yep, here auditioning here with the director of the movie, of Ron Howard. Howard. That's right. It was Robert Downey Jr. and Brad Pitt. None of them got the role. Billy Baldwin got the role. That's right, because the main reason was because he looked like more like he could be Kurt Russell's brother. Now, is, was it common, or is it common for an actor to, to audition with the director of the movie like that? Um, well, in this case, um, Robert Downey Jr. auditioned three times for the role, uh, with two, twice with Ron Howard. And I think it was because they were really seriously considering him for that role. All right, Jurassic Park, a blockbuster film, 1993. Some huge stars trying out for the role of Dr. Ellie Sattler. Instead of saying which ones, let's take a look at the tapes. God creates man. Man destroys. Maybe they're hearing something, turning their head so they can hear. Or maybe maybe it's just ritual behavior, species-specific behavior that serves to identify them to one another. Or maybe it doesn't have any broader meaning. Maybe they're weird. Maybe dinosaurs are weird. Maybe it's some kind of communication. Do you get a pupillary effect from these tranquilizers? Uh, yes, there's a meiotic effect. Pupils have been stripped. These pupils are dilated. It's a pharmacological effect. And what is this animal's range? About five square miles. In this general area? That's Helen Hunt. We yep. saw Gwyneth Paltrow before. Right. You're, you're putting 14 of these audition tapes for this movie together. What kind of money do you think this is going to generate? Well, the Jurassic Park audition tapes, we anticipate two to 4000 conservatively, but it could be four to $10,000. You never know. We've never sold something like this, so it, it's, it's hard to say. All right, let's take a look at another one. This is a, an iconic 80s film, The Sure Thing. It starred John Cusack and, as the love-struck college freshman Gibb. Now, here is the first starring role for this guy. He had immediate chemistry with his co-star in the film, Daphne Zuniga. Take a look at the audition tape. Sure, outdoorsy type Jason. Clear 
freshwater streams, fragrant meadows, biodegradable toilet paper. No, not really. We're just done. They went on, obviously, to star in that movie. Let's move on. 1990, Nicole Kidman made a name for himself in the movie Days of Thunder, but she did not take a role in the movie Shattered in the following year. That role went to Greta Sachi, and actually, she was offered the part. Here's her audition. I made you take me home. I was, I was so lonely, I wanted to die. I had no sense of identity. I lost my sense of hope. I lost, I lost it all. She was offered it, but didn't take it. Why? Well, she did take the role in Days of, of Thunder. I have to watch how I say that. Yeah. And that's when she met Tom Cruise, of course, and they did three, three movies together. But you can see, Matt, how passionate she is. That's an audition. She's given it all right there. She's the ultimate professional. She had the waterworks going there. <laughs> and finally, Russell Crowe and Jennifer Connelly both auditioned for their parts that they ultimately got in A Beautiful Mind. Take a look at the audition. All right, the casting director did a pretty good job here because Russell Crowe actually won a Golden Globe for his role and Jennifer Connelly? She got Best Supporting Actress, an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress and the Golden Globe as well, so a slew of awards. I think it's fun. I think people are going to have a good time looking at this. I mean, they know these stars as megawatt stars right now, but, you know, at some point they all had to go in front of a, a, a small home somewhere. camera and actually audition for a role. Absolutely, which is cool. yeah. yeah. And they're going on the auction block next week, Mike. All right. Uh, Friday and Saturday, April 5th and 6th. All right, great. In Beverly Hills. We appreciate it, guys. Always good to have you here.